right, so for this problem, they're asking us to find the exact values of your half angle value for cosine um, using the half angle formulas. So here what I'm done, what I've been given is I'm given a sine of u equals 5 over 13. So I need to figure out uh, what the cosine is to use the half angle um, for using the half angle formula for cosine. So a couple things we notice is we're given sine of u equals 5 over 13. Where remember sine is opposite over your uh, hypotenuse or opposite over your radius if you're thinking about this as a you know an angle with the unit circle. And then also we have a constraint between pi over 2, which is like 90 degrees, and pi, which would be 180. So let's first go ahead and write this out. First of all, if my height has to be 5, there's two kind of triangles I could write. Right? I could write 5, 5, and 13, 13. As 13 has to be the hypotenuse of the radius. However, since it says it has to be between pi and pi over 2, then this is going to be my only triangle that I could use. So I'm just going to kind of erase this. The next thing now I need to do is I need to figure out what the cosine value is. Well, remember the cosine is going to be your adjacent side. So to do that, I can use Pythagorean's theorem. And you, know, you can subtract 169 minus 25. Um, is going to be 144 square rooted, and uh, you also should know that this is a Pythagorean triple, so you're going to equal 144. Now it's important though, you took the square root, so you're going to be dealing with a plus or minus, and since this is in the second quadrant, we are going to have a negative 12 as our um, x value. So therefore the cosine of our angle u is going to equal a negative 12 over 13. So now the next thing I need to do is remember what exactly is the half angle formula for cosine. So I go ahead and take a look, and cosine of u over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine u all over 2. So now what I do is I take my cosine value and I'm just going to plug it in. So I have plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of u is now negative 12 over 13 all over 2. So now to simplify this problem, well, it's a high plus or minus, right? So now to simplify this problem, I can get rid of this 13 on the denominator by multiplying everything times 13. So in doing that, what I get is plus or minus radical 13 times 1 is 13. Those cancel out. Um, those cancel out to give me a minus 12 all over um, radical 26. Then 13 minus 12 is going to be 1, so that equals plus or minus 1 over radical 26. Obviously we know we cannot have a radical on the bottom, so I rationalized the denominator. Now I'm kind of running out of room, and what I end up getting is radical 26 over 26. And I'm just going to take a look. I think of my square numbers, you know, 4, 9, 16. Make sure I cannot reduce um, square root 26 or 6. And that's it, plus or minus radical 26 over 26. And that's how you find the um, half angle formula of cosine.